This is the kind of place that helps you grow up. This place gave me opportunity. This place changes people. This place is like a family. This place connects. This place supports creativity. I never imagined I could work in a place like this. This place is a safe haven. My best friends are at this place. I can't believe I get paid to come to this place. This place is a pocket of magic. This place inspires me and it makes me laugh every day. This place is so supportive. This place has been a dream come true. This place is like a second home to me. This is the only place where everyone's favorite person is the principal. Students are attracted to this place because they want to be recognized as individuals. Uh, they want to be seen, they want to be heard, and students don't get that at a lot of bigger schools throughout the community here. There's a lot of interaction between students and teachers. There's a lot of collaboration, and there's a lot of, um, a lot of intimacy between staff around how to promote student success. Having a small classroom really allows me to meet each student at where they come in to the school. And in this sense, I'm able to really understand what interests them, engage them in the material that I want to teach, help them to scaffold each skill level that they need, and eventually to take them to where they need to be in their learning. My smallest math class has 10 students right now. They get lots of individual time. I can have students who are advanced doing their own thing. I can have students who need a little extra help. So often what they need is somebody to be their cheerleader and go, yeah, you did that step right. Max. Figures. <laughs> <laughs> Having been at Cypress now for a couple of years, I can't imagine going back to a large school where I don't get to know my students' parents and know the ins and outs of their lives and all of the wonderful things that make them a person. I wish I had had a school like this when I was uh, his age. The first thing that came across to me in the open house was they're really excited about what they're doing and that, and that translates to the kids. They can, kids can feel that. We're all in it to advocate for students, and that at any point, if there's a problem or a new great idea, that there are gonna be people there to support you and help make whatever that thing is happen. Well, this is the first school where you can go up to a teacher and get a hug from them. The teachers are the friendliest here. The, you know, if, if you have a problem with something, you can get all the one-on-one -on -one attention that you need to figure that out. My teachers make me feel comfortable, like I fit in. I needed a place to land, a safe place to land, and that was Cyprus. No matter how far behind you get or how crazy life becomes outside of school, this, the teachers will pick you up from wherever you are and make it happen. The three strengths of Cyprus are small class size and personal attention to the teachers, the emphasis on uh, the well-being of the student, and the third thing would be that there's a very diverse population here. There's all kinds of kids. First and foremost, our mission here is to provide our students with a small, comprehensive school education, preparing them obviously to graduate high school and to be ready for what comes next. I think most high schools are looking for college preparatory, meeting all of the graduation requirements, going through sort of a list, but at Cyprus, we really go beyond that. I want them to walk away being a self-advocate, knowing how to get what it is that they want and have the skills in order to accomplish that. So for me, as a counselor, I want them to eventually get into a career where they're gonna be happy and feel successful. So I want them to walk away with those kind of skills that they know what they want and they have the ability to go out and get it. They really do prepare you for when you graduate this school to be ready for the outside world. The most important thing that anybody learns in high school is not the, the content of the courses, but rather the, the approach to learning. Um, so knowing how to learn, that's kind of what I would hope that I'm instilling in my students. I think it's important for kids to have a greater understanding of society and their role in it, and that's kind of the big takeaway. I like to tell all of my geography and world history kids that their goal in my class is to figure out where things are, why they're there, and why do we care. The most important thing that I want them to come away with is I want them to have a chance at whatever future they want. And for every student, especially in this economy and in this political environment, that future is not the same. I would want students that have been to Cyprus to think back on their high school years and know that they went to a school where there were many adults who cared truly and deeply for their well-being and were doing everything they could to support them, not just in the specific classes they taught, 
um, but also just in their life in general. I want them to have a love for learning and I want them to have the drive and passion to go out and make a difference in the world. Every year we've been doing these um, one day where everyone in the school goes on a field trip and this year I was fortunate enough to be able to go on the uh, sea kayaking trip and we went down to Elkhorn Slough. Those are just the best days when you can just get out of the classroom and into a beautiful place and just in, relax and enjoy yourself with these great kids. They all treat each other with like such great respect and everything, you know, it's just like a big, happy, dysfunctional family. My fellow students, wow, <laughs> about them, they are absolutely wonderful. Yeah, it's really easy to make friends because everybody's so open, you know, like the school is so small that, you know, like everybody's pretty much friends. It's like, kind of like a home, like you can feel comfortable here, like whatever type of person you are. It's fun, you know, we all, everyone knows each other, everyone laughs together, I've had tons of memories here. Wherever you come from and whatever you do and however you do it, people are gonna be okay with it or learn to be okay with it. You know, this isn't a school where you're gonna find a lot of bullies or you're going to find, uh, there's an open-mindedness here that I have not seen on other campuses. And uh, that's refreshing and unique. 10 years ago when the school was installed, built for the first time, I met the then superintendent in the parking lot and he wrote, took off his suit coat, rolled up his sleeves and helped me unload the desks that are in our first three classrooms. That kind of spirit, that kind of collaboration and support has continued and is reflected to this day in the backing that we get from our community here in Live Oak. It's a fabulous place to be and I cannot speak highly enough about it. To have a place for those students to go where they get to stay in the Live Oak School District, especially for those families that live near here, is wonderful. We have a very wide variety of learners, a very wide variety of kids coming from all different backgrounds. And I think that's kind of what sets us apart from other charter schools and other small schools. First and foremost, the best principal I've ever met is the principal here. He knows all the kids. He is an amazing person and the way he educates is, um, there's no equivalent to him. I think anybody who's met Les um, would agree that he's kind of the heart and soul of Cypress. He is a very caring, professional individual and he's nearly like a brother to me. I firmly believe that there's nothing that replaces the close, the closeness of the interactions that we can have with our students here and that as they grow and leave high school, that they can retain the importance, the inherent goodwill that comes at the school and the importance of human interaction. Yes, technology is changing everything we do. Yes, this global marketplace is becoming more competitive. But if they can retain what we try to instill in them here, uh, the importance of self-value and self-worth, those are things that are gonna hold them in good stead the rest of their lives.